There's only one thing that we love more than eating food with chopsticks, and that's photography. So we've been talking about shutter speed and aperture. What we're going to do now is take those two components and put them together, see how they work in conjunction with each other to create some exciting lighting. We've got our model, Alisea here today, and I'm going to take some shots. Right now, I don't care about the ambient light. I'm going to adjust that here in a minute. The first thing I want to do is get her set. So I'm running my Norman light and I've got it set at 100 watt power. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start out knowing that f-stop is the only thing that controls the exposure on my subject and just for the sake of this exercise so it really gets ingrained in our mind I'm going to start at 125th of a second at f4. Obviously f4 is probably going to be a little blown out but we're going to shoot it anyways. Now at f4 at 125th of a second the background looks great. She obviously face blown out, shirt is blown out. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to close my shutter down. I'm going to go to 5.6, one F stop. Starting to see a little bit of more detail in the highlights, but still very blown out. Going to shoot it now at F8. At F8, I'm starting to see a lot of detail. It's starting to look real good. I'm going to take it up now to F11. At F11, I'm really liking the exposure there, but for the sake of the argument, but for this exercise, I'm going to take it now up to F16 and take a look at my exposure. You notice throughout the exercise, I have not changed my shutter speed. I've, it's remained at 125th of a second. You can see as I'm closing my lens down, it is getting darker, but I don't care. At f16, one of the problems, I like the exposure on the highlight side, but I'm losing detail now in the shadow. So, what I determined is f11 is where I want it to be. So now, at f11, my background is way too dark at 125th of a second. So, I lock in my f-stop not going to change that. I'm going to start moving my shutter speed. If you want to brighten the background up, then you need to slow the shutter speed down. If you want to darken it, then you're going to speed it up. Remember, we've been talking about sync speeds. You cannot go over the sync speed of your camera. In my particular camera, I cannot shoot it faster than a 250th of a second, or I start seeing that black bar off to the side. So, I am going to shoot her at a 60th of a second, remaining at f11. I'm starting now to see some of the tools in the background coming in. I'm going to slow it down to now a 30th of a second. A little bit more, we're starting to gain some depth into the photo, just not at all what I'm looking for. A 15th of a second. Obviously this is now where the tripod comes in. I really like the, the feel we're getting now. We're starting to see a lot more of that background. I'm going to slow it down to an eighth of a second. Looking right up here. Awesome. I, now we've got this tremendous photo, but again, for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to slow it down to a quarter second. You can start seeing at a quarter of a second. Now all of a sudden we're getting a little bit too bright. Our lights in the background are getting a little bit too hot. I'm going to slow it all the way down to a one second exposure. I'll say I want you just to stay real still. This can be a long exposure. Good. Boy, at this point now you can start seeing how that ambient light starts to creep in. Notice though, throughout all of those exposures, 
I left it at F11. The exposure on her never changes. The only thing that's changing is the ambient light. Again, F-stop controls the exposure on your subject. Shutter speed controls the ambient light. If you can nail these two things down, you are again far and above where most photographers are today. Well, enough of me rambling on about aperture and shutter speed. Now that we have these components dialed in, let's go out and make some great photos and just have some fun.